Okay, where well, I'm going to quickly show you how to use this canva.com in your school email here you should have an invitation link. Again, this is your school email. So if this is your school email, here it would be from me, Kimberly Shelley, and it's going to say Canva external. And it's going to say don't click on links unless you know the sender and the content. It is safe to click on it. You are going to click on the link that is here in your email. It is then going to take you to the screen on Canva saying that you've been invited to join Spanish 1, 2, 3, 4, whichever class it is that you're in, and that you need to sign up. You are going to sign up with email. You want to put in your name. I want to use my son's. You're going to put in your school email account. So, um, you would use any of the school email accounts. Then it, I'm already registered, so it switched to my name immediately. And so your name, the school email, and then you're going to create a password. And then you're going to click get started. It's free. Once you get here, then it's going to pop up into what it's going to look like. I'm going to go in as a student that I already have created. Once you are in the home screen of Cam Canva, you are going to be able to choose templates. You can create a design from scratch. You will be able to see all of your designs that you have already created, recent designs. Classwork is going to be after you submit me something to maybe check and I respond back to you. Any folders and down here at the bottom, you should definitely see your class. And Spanish 2, if I click on it, you'll see that if there's any designs that were shared with the entire class will be down here. Any of the folders or templates that I want you to look at will be in there as well. But everything is going to be for you to create on your own. I'm not going to make you have a certain template to use. Okay, so again, you can go down here to templates and you can create whatever type of presentation, poster, infographic that you're wanting to do. I'm going to just click on a poster for right now. Then it's going to pop up all kind of different templates. You have all of these names here that you can go through. You can scroll through and see whatever you would like. Um, you can also type up here and just say soccer or whatever theme you're wanting to put in there. And then you can scroll until you see something that you like. Click on it and then it also gives you more options down here that you can look at. When you decide on which template you want and you're happy with it, you're going to say choose use this template. When you click on the use this template, you have popping up everything to where we can now edit. Team. Before you start editing, you need to save it as a name that you're going to be able to remember and recognize usually what your project is about. You have two ways to change the name of it. You can go to file here in the left side of the screen. Go to the pencil. You can change it as something of I love soccer. Another way that you could have changed it and you just hit enter and it changes it. Up here in the top of the right side of the screen it had up here football soccer match I could have clicked in here and changed the name as well and hit enter and that would have also have changed it. Now whenever I go to edit any of this information I can click on anything I want and change it. But please remember if you're choosing a template that's already done you want to try to maintain most of that template and you might just change some of the wording or maybe change out a picture or two. The way you change it is just by clicking on it and 
typing in what you want. I'm going to change this to FC Barcelona. Uh, let's, I don't want the white. I'm just going to change the names for, to Barcelona. And then let's go to Real Madrid. And then here, let's make the time at 11 and let's change it to say Barcelona. We're going to change it to say Barcelona. Spania. I don't want this down here, so I'm going to change that. Then, over on the left side of your screen, you can upload here your own pictures or videos if you would like. You can add different photos that are already on here. All of everything on here is free as long as you have done my email link. If you clicked on that, you'll get everything for free because we're using the educator account. If you do not click on my link, then a lot of this stuff will not be free for you. So make sure you click on the link that's in your email. Choose any photo you want. You have elements to where you can use anything that is here as you would like. You have text. You have the big wording, which would be like the soccer match. Subheading would be like this FC Barcelona and a little body would be like what's here in the white ink down here. You can choose whatever you want. You can also use any of these fonts and whenever you choose something it pops a text box over there and you just start typing in whatever you want there. Then you have videos that you can also insert over there if you would like. You can change the background color or theme that you would like and it's a ton of them that you can go through. You can also create a folder and name this like designs for Spanish class if you would like and save it into that folder. You can also do any type of animations that you would like to do as well um, by going into the elements Let's say that I want some sticker and let's use the arrow and I can change it, adjust it, move it to where it points to that particular section. Then you can also animate make it come in as whatever you would like to and it will come in. Then what am I going to do when I'm finished but I have enough time to where Miss Shelley could check it. Well what you would do is go to send to teacher, click on my name and ask please look over this. Remember I need at least three days more than likely to check any of these assignments. So when you're doing these, give me at least three days. Hit send. It says that I will get an email saying that I need to review the design. And whenever I finish reviewing the design, it will let you know as well. How do I know if a design is being um, reviewed or has been reviewed? Well, up here on home, we're going to go to home and um, we're then going to go to classwork. And here you see it will tell you needs review right now. When it goes into needs review or after I have approved it, it is then going to say approved. And then you are going to be able to see what I have written as well. 
if I go here to approve, there's nothing there because I haven't changed into approval. Well, when you go back into your designs, this one right here, I have recently approved. And how do I know it would have been approved? I would have had that on there saying approved. Then you would go to your, then you will go to add notes at the top and you will see any, you will see any of these notes that I have put up for your poster. If you don't understand any of the notes, send me an email and I'll be more than glad to help you understand that. But again, at the top up here where it says add notes, you'll see any notes that I have written for you. So after you have finished editing your design and you are wanting to ready to send it to me, how do I get it submitted? Well, you're going to go to the three dots on the right side of the screen and you're going to hit download. This right now is saving as an MP4 because I have animation. If I do not have animation, you need to save it as a PNG or JPEG or PDF, either of those files, and it's going to download. So I'm going to save um, as an MP4 because I do have animation in it. And it's going to download and show up in the bottom of my left side of my screen. And then I'm going to either save it to my desktop or my OneDrive account and then upload it into Schoology from there. Remember everything that you save on the desktops of your laptop is going to take away storage. So make sure you put it in your OneDrive if you don't save it into your OneDrive immediately. Then um, once you finish that and you have it uploaded, then you are good to go. One other thing I did want to mention to you is I can add multiple pages and everything will be saved as a multiple page if you go into the download and you choose the PDF standard, it's going to give me as one big file as a PDF, all one. PNG and JPEGs will come to you and it will give everything separate, but you can still email each of those files or upload each of those files in Schoology all in that one assign submission assignment because you can upload more than one file in Schoology. Whenever you are finished with everything and you have it downloaded, and then you're wanting to sign out. How do we sign out? You go to home, which is over here on the left side of the screen. And then you're going to go to your initial up here with your name on the right side of the screen, click there, and then you click sign out. And that is how you will sign out of Canva. Again, let me know if I can help you with anything. If you don't understand how to use Canva still, please feel free to ask me and I'll be more than glad to help you. Thanks.